I really don't know this. You kind of smell what? <laughs> like a maca. <laughs> Sailor Moon Collectibles news and reviews. Sailor Moon. Hey guys, welcome to another Sailor Moon toy video. Today we're talking about the Sailor Moon Mega Cat Project Sailor Moon. Yes, that's M-E-W-N because the Japanese like to make everything extremely cute. And wow, do I already love the colors on this box. This reminds me of a trading card set that I bought in the early 2000s, but ooh, these are gonna be really cute. These almost look like clay. They're not, they're made out of plastic and they're tiny little cats. Now, why aren't they bunnies? I don't know, but this box looks super cute if you wanna open up these little cat ears to display. These are probably gonna go on sale individually once they hit the States, if they do. Um, look at all those beautiful gold Toei stickers. Each box is probably gonna run around, I don't know, um, somewhere between six and ten bucks if you ever find it but they're beyond cute i bought the whole box for about sixty dollars there's eight figures total there's eight styles um, and we're gonna find out what is my first pull from this surprise box yep it's one of those surprise boxes where you do not know what you're getting until you open it and uh this is how i learned that uh each one of these comes with a little image i don't know it looks like it's about four by five and a half inches and oh sailor bars why are you so cute so this one has a tail separately that you just have to insert into the back but yeah these look like clay these look like something you'd get on etsy and i am really vibing with it because it's very different from the normal sailor moon merch that we get which are usually figures and things that are representative of what the cartoon looks like i am eating this up i think this is already so cute but wow that is real small really beyond extremely tiny so i don't know if um that price point that i think they're gonna sell these at is gonna make sense but at least the paint job's really good compared to a lot of the toys that i see oh check it out we've got a copyright uh, thing on the bottom now i want to tell you as i open up this little pamphlet that there are bootlegs of these already i can't believe it but yeah there are um so i don't know if they're going to include this little picture card they're definitely not going to have the toy sticker but you got to be aware and oh man this is so much smaller than i was expecting uh to film on so okay sailor venus wow you are bright when you open up Sailor Venus in the box, she doesn't bring Artemis, but as you can see, there is an Artemis in this set. I love, love, love how, oh, okay. Did I tell you these are small? Because they're really small. You're gonna lose them, you're gonna drop them, and that's just a fact of life. Um, but look at this. I love the kind of matte quality that the plastic has. They're definitely, you know, they're better than pop figures for me. Pop figures are not the standard of paint jobs, but when you're looking at cheaper toys, Oh yeah, and this one's for the Reynako fans out there. Yeah, give it a little kiss. Oh, they're so cute. Also, all the boxes kind of sound the same. Um, this one's Sailor Mercury, and what's this? Someone has different ears. Oh my god. It's like they know, and I, I appreciate when they make the characters different, um, even when they're not even themselves. So Sailor Mercury is a little more reserved than everybody else, so she's got the cute little itty bitty round ears compared to these pointy ears on Sailor Venus. See, details like that, they really make my day. But wow, this is a tiny, tiny little cat gang. Ooh, tuxedo mask. And it looks like, does he have no tail? Interesting choice. So here's his little pamphlet. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do with these. They're probably gonna go in a clear file. Oh, so he does have a tail, it's hidden underneath. Tiny details like this really make me understand that I, uh, I do like this stuff and I prefer it over everything else. And I will tell you, I bought this box for one particular character that you're gonna see. Um, do you think you know what it is? I haven't mentioned her, but she's amazing. So yeah, already very different, but very small, very, very small. Um, ooh, it's Jupiter. And Jupiter's got a little fluffy tail, it looks like. So see, they're all slightly different. 
interestingly enough, um, in terms of color and even in terms of sculpt. I feel like Mega House makes really great items. I am, I don't think I can remember a Mega House figure that I was pretty upset with. They really blow it out of the water, way better than Bandai. And look at this little, ugh! I can't wait to figure out where I'm gonna put them in my collection because they look great. Oh, it's the star of the show, Sailor Moon herself. And interestingly enough, she's got a little bunny tail, a tiny little bobcat tail. Um, and the ears are not the Odongos. I think that's the only thing that I would have done different, but I can't complain. This is the cutest merch I've probably seen in years. I'm just salty that it's so small. But the colors are great. These these are beautiful. Um, if somebody handmade these, I'd totally buy them. And these are official merch. Hell yeah. Companies making cool stuff. I'm always down for it. Now, we got cats. The cats come together because they are extremely small. They almost look like Japanese water cakes, if you know what I'm talking about, like little mochi things. They're not my favorites so far, but it does make sense that they would make them smaller than the other cat senshi. Again, why couldn't they have been bunnies? But <laughs> that is the smallest complaint. I haven't seen anything really that egregious here, except that they're very small. But so far, so good. And you're probably wondering, wait a minute, do I remember the star of the video? Is there another character here that we haven't seen yet? Oh yes, there is. And she is literally the reason I bought these. I almost planned on selling all of the heroes, maybe not Tuxedo Mask because he's great, but I was planning on buying this whole box and selling all of these little guys because there's a freaking queen barrel in here and she's like what is this is this like a main coon she's got a foofy tail is she a fox she even has a different face shape i cannot get over how sexy this tiny little cat clay looking thing is and it's the reason i bought these but they're so cute that i think i'm keeping them all queen barrel your dark influence is making me spend so much money so we're gonna put her right back here. She looks so mean. I love it. So, in short, again, the Mega Cat Project Sailor Moon Box is probably the cutest thing I have seen in 2021. And I have a Q-Posket video coming up and those things are super, but they just don't have the almost kitschy handmade quality that these little guys have. And what is Queen Barrel even doing? It looks like she's cheering. Why do you have arms? Why did they give you arms? I don't understand, but I'm not here to understand. I'm just here to show you cool merch. And and this is, this is awesome. Literally, that's all I have to tell you. So follow my Instagram for pictures of these little guys. Follow TikTok for I don't even know what. I got a really cool USB charger thing. And oh God, these, you see how blurry? this is trying to get close enough to see them these are so small that my focus isn't that great with them but they're so cute and I want them to make more of this merch so please buy them because I want more I want villains especially so yep I'm Sailor Tortilla this is what I do so follow me subscribe a lot of you aren't subscribed and I'm not complaining but I know who you are anyway <laughs> <laughs> I love the dark blue on this box. I will not let that go. I'll talk about it more on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Bye.